Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning selves, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support that you're giving yourself. You know, we're going through some really crazy times right now, so we're reflecting and releasing. And I know that has to be a lot, so I always send out, you know, loving and uplifting vibes towards your way for you to get through this rough patch at this moment in time. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if uh, you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just up, tell me about your impact to give and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video has been very informative to you, it just gave you some good vibes you would love to share with someone who's truly in need right now that's going through a rough patch, especially like a loved one, family, friend, or even a fellow empath, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, go ahead and share also and give me a thumbs up on your social media, wherever you see fit. I know I said that all backwards, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for giving me so much love and support. I greatly appreciate it. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today I'm listening to Loco Motives uh, med meditation music. Um, Ivy Ivyo Arthur, I guess that's what that's called. Um, it's called Quantum Miracle Music, 963 hertz plus 852 hertz plus 639 hertz penal gland activation open third eye and heal heart chakra i'm feeling it all right here in the whereabouts so i'm just like Whew, okay needed that but anyways my video today is about twin flame 101 upcoming full moon has us reflecting and releasing like crazy i don't know if y'all all going through it but usually when i tell y'all about this you're like rosin i'm on the same situation it's just crazy how i can just put something out you're like rosin are you serious you know i'm just go i just went through this yesterday or i'm you know uh, I've been going through this for the whole week and really don't want to say nothing, but it's just like, um, I think it's on the 20th, which is next Wednesday, well, Wednesday coming up, um, we've been reflecting on a lot of things, like, you know, I told you on my prior video that, you know, darkness is really messing with you, but it's just like anything if you ever went through in life is starting to come at you. You know, you're starting to remember thoughts in your head to the point like yesterday, it got so bad with me, I just started crying. Like, I cried myself to sleep and I was like, I'm just tired. I just, you know, I was telling my dad, you know, um, metaphysically, you know, he was just holding me and he was just like, it's okay. And I'm just like, no, it's not okay. I'm just tired of thinking about these things. You know, even though I've let it go, why does it keep coming up? And it's just like, obviously, you know, cause I've really been hurt throughout in life. You know, if you've been emotionally and mental, mentally abusive, you know, growing up, you know how that stuff can really stick with you. And even though you try to move on and let it go, you know, obviously there's still some things that you need to heal. You know, I think it was like me healing my inner child because it was a lot of things. Well, actually I went through, uh, from from the time I was younger until like recently you know because I just try to tell myself you're not allowing um, yourself to even engage with your your prior family I don't really call them my family because I really feel like family don't, doesn't do that to people but you know I just you know say the folks that's just in my memories you know they really put you know put some things in my head and really messed me up like why would you come at me like that why would you do these things so it was just a lot of things that I was re reflecting on sorry about that y'all because it's like every time during noon this makes me think about 28 days later every time I hear this I'm like oh my god is there going to be a zombie apocalypse coming because we're like yeah because that's what it makes me think about and it's so crazy but yeah you know I was really going through it yesterday and like I told y'all if you've been with me for a while if I'm in one of those moods um, it was like I was okay during the day, but it was like towards the end, of, you know, towards nighttime, it was like all these things kept coming up, coming up. Like I was just cleaning my house and, you know, listening to music and doing all this and this and that. But I've been going through a lot of headaches, a lot of lower back pain. It is just like because I kept on hearing you have the weight of the world on your shoulders, you know, kept hearing that all yesterday. So it's like dealing with all that, 
I was just trying to keep myself busy but you know I, I wanted to make videos but I actually didn't want to make any videos with me feeling that way because like I tell y'all when I'm in that funky mood like that I don't want to project that out on anybody I don't even want to talk to nobody around that time so it's just like so many things were just going on and I'm just just like why is this all going on and then you know uh one of my my soul brothers had sit up here and told me hey you know the full moon's coming up i'm like damn that's the reason why i'm going through all this you know and i'm just like oh okay it, it makes sense i understand that and it's just like i know you know universe is not trying to punish me you know the ego is just like you know this is not fair why should you have to give up you know why should you not be mad at these people no more they did this and this and that to you and it's just like why hold that anger in your heart when you're not even going to deal with them the rest of them? you know if it's meant for us to have to contact each other or talk to each other it'll be on a strictly non-family way but you know you just you don't engage with those people anymore so why would you even want to hold that in your heart you're trying to go to bigger and better things you can't go to bigger and better things with all this in your heart because i thought i was over with it you know just leaving it alone but it was just so much that you know i forgot all about that my adopted father really put me through hell and it was just like going through all that and seeing you know hearing things that my stepmom used to say to me and all that it was just like really hurtful and I was just like, you know what, you're over this. You're done. You don't want, because I, I told myself yesterday, after all this stuff came conjuring up, cut them cords so you don't have to think about it no more. I, I said, I don't want to pass it aside saying, oh, I don't want to hear about this. No, it made me reflect on it and cry and release every single thing that I was going through at that time. And it was like, okay, you know, go through this, reflect on it, and let go. Just let it go. You know because you're heading towards bigger and beautiful things and they needed you to reflect on these things and be able to release them so you can head towards a better place because you won't be able to go on to the next level if you still have all this darkness and hatred in your heart even though darkness is playing upon that on your weaknesses you know universe is actually helping you release they're helping you face things that you know you need to face them you know reality you're you're a good person inside and out yes a lot of us have made mistakes hell all of us have and it's like you shouldn't have to keep paying for the things that happened in your past you know like I tell y'all this we're all learning and growing when you can sit up here and see the things that you need to improve on yourself or you need to have more self-love because when you're out there pushing out you know miserable things negative things because you lack that self-love for yourself and it's just like when you can you know you can do that you know because a lot of people you have to see that you've really been through hell for you to actually have to be doing that and I had to look at my family like that you must have really been through some hell growing up but for you to unleash something like that on somebody especially a child something is really messed up with you. you you really went through hell so I had to think of it that way just for me to be able to release that and let it go so it's just like when you're going through these things know that you know it can be a hurtful thing it will be hard to forgive the people that really put you in you know that messed you up mentally you know but you have to understand they were human too and obviously for them to do that to you something really traumatizing has had to happen to them for them to be able to unleash something like that on you and I really had to look at it that way for me to be able to say you know what get over this you know, I won't tell anybody else that, but I'm talking about for myself because I know I deserve a lot better. You know, you know, I did my little part too. I had my little bad ways or whatever, but everybody is human. So it's just like with you going through this because something is really big coming up. And I don't know if it's going to be like after the full moon, during the full moon, but I know something really big is coming up. So they're making you reflect on everything. So they're like, look, if you want to be able to be blessed with all this, you're going to have to let this, that, and the third go gonna have to you know you're, you're a good person you know that you're pushing out a lot of positivity you know just whatever you went through and you're still trying to see a better for tomorrow and that's fine you know knowing that you you know you went through things or you're dealing with stuff you go my cat uh, that you know you deserve better you know even though you have went through so much hell and you're just like you know rising up and pushing out so much positivity but I keep on getting these negative people and it's just like when we we attract narcissistic people it's just like they need the help the most because they are very broken very broken for them to be able to do that and it's just like you have to pray for people like that because 
they really went through some stuff to be able to have to unleash some stuff like that towards you. So knowing with this full moon coming up, I think it's like the worm moon or whatever I was looking it up, but they had like about five or six different names for this. And um, just know that they have, you, if you feel like you're reflecting on things and you're like, Rosalind, I felt like I done took 10 steps back for me to think about this. No, it's not you conjuring this stuff up. It's the stuff that they want you, whatever, whatever kind of residue is left over, you know from your past hurt and your trauma they're making you reflect on these things not to punish you but for you to be able to release it so you can move on to that next level because they're about to gift us with something very beautiful and you can't be able to get that unless you, you get rid of all that darkness inside of you you know you can't be walking around with hatred for your heart you know because it's just like we've been through so much and you're just like I keep getting this BS back to me. You still have this leftover residue from your hurt and your pain. If you know they're no longer being able to hurt you or touch you in that way, let it go. Because it's just like I had to tell myself that. It's like you don't even talk to these people. You don't even engage with them folks like that. You don't even call them family. You just call them people that you knew in your past. Why are you letting these things affect you so much? You know, you, you don't have them in your path like that. So just pray for them ask for you know god forgiveness for yourself for allowing this to keep you know haunting you and hurting you so you can be able to have a better tomorrow so i hope you were able to resonate with the content in this video like i said i really miss y'all so much but when i'm in that mood i just don't want to do videos like that i don't want to project that out on anybody so um i'm giving a shout out to blood Ko uh coyote my son my bad I said my sorry. <laughs> my bad. Where's Nero and Tracy? Uh, Borton, Borton. I think that's her name. Much love to you. My cat keeps jumping all over the place. Much love to you. I know my heart's racing like crazy. I don't know if it's just from that. Never mind. I forgot it's the heart chakra. <laughs> it was going on. So much love to you. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line and let me know if you're going through this as well right now. But just know this is because of the the energy from pulling from the uh, moon that's getting ready to come. So um, like I said, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line, and you know, so I can go ahead and give you a shout out on my next video. And I hope y'all have a blessed weekend. Be know that you are truly blessed highly favored forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can and i'll see you on my next video much love peace be wild